हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन दिस वीडियो विल बी कवरिंग आप प्रताप भानु मेहता स्किल टीक ऑफ एक्सटेंडिंग और टेन परसेंट रिजर्वेशन फॉर अपर कास्ट ओके फ्रेंड्स इन दिस वीडियो प्रताप भानु मेहता हैज हैज एनालाइज द कोटा रिजर्वेशन स्कीम एंड हैज सेड दैट रिजर्वेशन स्कीम इज अ सिनिकल पॉलिसी सिनिकल पॉलिसी एंड सेज दिस is <coughs> travesty travesty characterizing constitutional and political discourse so these two words can be utilized in our uh, answer writing and he says the reservation is a political jumla for reservation is a political jumla uh, rather than an a well thought policy while writing this essay he says ki on this uh, coming of 10% reservation quota signals three fronts of our economy first front is that indian economy has failed to create enough attractive jobs for our youth secondly our education system has failed to provide quality education so that uh, quality youth can compete in outer economy or even in indian economy third is it is failure of our poverty alleviation programs okay as a result of which uh, this uh, reservation policy is being extended okay so he is uh, two reality third he says implicitly give um, route three okay education system has failed and then we are not been able to create enough jobs indian economy is not generating enough attractive jobs okay so caste system like rajputs uh, upper caste uh, is opens up that uh, they should be represented in state devesh kapoor uh, another uh, political science scholar says ki now we are having a lesser per capita is officers than we had in 60s okay then in this paragraph in this paragraph uh, pratap bhanu mehta has discussed the kind of political uh, uh, policies on reservation that have been in india they say ki rather than being ethically or morally driven okay rather than being ethically or morally driven they have been driven by majoritarian politics okay rather than being so so entitlement reaches to those which are in power and politics and no ethical and moral consideration uh, matter no ethical and uh, no moral consideration drive entitlements okay the purpose of reservation the uh, further adds that the purpose of reservation has ex Uh, as combating reserve uh, discrimination and empowering the marginalized have been extended and now anti poverty measures have been also included in it however that the uh, idea that you can address economic deprivation through reservation is pre posturous or an ill thought idea okay then he discusses here ki uh, nitish kumar uh, nitish kumar has uh, given certain formula for uh, this is uh, not of our he use uh, then he uses ki uh, rakesh basant has given ki parents education should be one formula of looking at uh, the proxy of uh, caste system then gnu old deprivation criteria uh, playing role can also be one however he says ki 8 lakh is a very generous amount and they will not be able to answer basic question as to why particular should should be a uh, particular group should be under the ambit of reservation because 8 lakh is a very high a uh, value you are putting and so lot of people as so a maximum uh, in in past video we have seen ki um, uh, on one hand arjun sen gupta committee said ki 77% of people in our country are le earning less than 20 rupees a day now if such committee reports are taken into consideration we cannot understand as to what 8 lakh 8 lakh uh, limit and how much people they would be adding into okay then he however says ki this proposal is having a small silver lining 
silver lining is ki uh, now upper caste uh, people upper upper caste will no longer be able to resent dalits for uh, the reservations so, but however he says ki this uh, silver lining is quite small and op- this getting into uh, this would be opening like uh, opening the pandora box for various other proposals okay why it is so because if uh, if this reservation is done the, uh, 50% of uh, uh, ceiling would be breached now uh, under constitution there are two uh, formulas to get into a state either based on the representativeness or based on your merit okay now this 50% delicate balance which is been created by supreme court would be disturbed by this scheme okay then again government would be finding itself a tougher uh, 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 tougher struck into the uh, political narratives as obc from very long period has been demanding that 50% ceiling should be extended uh, should be breached and uh, they should be given reservation according to their uh, population in uh, according, according to their population percentages okay further it would be escalating that uh, it it would be escalating demand for uh, government to release release the complete caste data you see caste data has not been completely released by government secc uh, social economic caste consensus data has been only uh, shallowly provided full caste data has not been provided by government uh, are and not releasing full caste data so this again would be questioned further it would be adding a uh, certain other groups like muslims which are much less mobilized uh, why shouldn't they have a right okay then again if it is uh, if this uh, data if this reservation policy is go- uh, is con- continued it would be creating further troubles for supreme court if it breaches now see supreme court would find itself struck into a, a catch 22 situation okay if it if it uh, goes by uh, if it goes by the policy of government so it would be breaching the 50% limit which they themselves created secondly if they do not then government would project that supreme court is hindering the social justice phenomena Uh, social empowerment uh, uh, within the country so it would be uh, depreciating the uh, the the legitimacy of uh, supreme court itself and supreme court would find itself further deepen uh, into the crisis crises okay so all in all this is not a very uh, good idea to get into such an uh, uh, such a reservation policy and uh, Uh, poverty alleviation measures economic growth are the only long term sustainable solutions uh, out for our country thank you